Live from the Xbox Arena, it's Dead or Alive 4. For the Birmingham Salvo, he rains down punches like an English storm. It's Minji Messi Dang. And for the Carolina Core, he's got more victims than a support group. It's Ryan, Offbeat Ninja War. Messi is competing as Gen Fu, a sturdy short range fighter with effective punches and excellent counters who likes to evade his enemy's attack and set them up for death dealing throws. Offbeat Ninja is competing as Ayn, a karate master with solid defensive skills and a collection of deadly grabs who likes to throw his rivals against the wall before he uses them to wipe the floor. Some stats on these players. Let's start with Salvo's Messi. He is undefeated here in the 2008 World Final. 5-2 to two was his score. He must get one round versus a very tough North American opponent from the Carolina Corps. It is off-beaten engine. 2007, he was number one. This year, not so much, but 2008 World Final record, 1-0. and oh. He's won his last five ma matches, and he's got a lot of business to take care of in this matchup. Let's go down to Roxanne and get this battle underway. Birmingham, are you ready? Caroline, are you ready? Ready, set, fight! Fatality, five points separate these teams. Offbeat Ninja must win. 5-0, and that would force a tie and then force them to fight one more round. Messi can end this entire night right here with one single round victory. And so far, he's got most of the damage here against his opponent, Offbeat Ninja. Now, Offbeat Ninja also known for playing a very good defensive style. So this might be a perfect time for him to start to use that. Both players dodging the cars here as we are on Gambler's Paradise. And Offbeat Ninja doing a good job throwing his opponent off. But Messi waiting for his opponent to make mistakes. One throw, a second throw. Can he finish it in round number one? Offbeat Ninja's not gonna let a great throw from Offbeat Ninja. Down to 21 seconds. Wake up kick from Messi. Offbeat Ninja keeping it up. Another throw. Will Offbeat Ninja stay alive? He does! Do this, come on. Keep that up. Good clutch, Ryan. Get another one. That's one. They need four more. Let's just hope for the Carolina <laughs> Corps' sake that he doesn't make them that close every round. But uh, a great comeback by uh, by Offbeat Ninja. And you know what else I learned in that in that round fatality is that Messi certainly has the capabilities to take a round from Offbeat Ninja that's got to make him a little nervous. Messi throwing out some quick one-twos, gets a launch, misses the juggle though. That could be a big mistake as Offbeat Ninja with the launch into the wall. He's going to try to stay alive. We see Messi getting another throw. Offbeat Ninja has the health advantage, parries over the car. Misses the throw, Offbeat Ninja goes in for the attack and wins Dude, his on. second round. Stay focused, mate. Focus. See the play work every round, let's go! Keep the pressure on him. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his favorite map. He needs three more. And uh, that Carolina core team is all on their feet. They're practically just as much in the game as Offbeat Ninja is right now. We see the first damage go to Offbeat Ninja. Messi only getting a slight hit on his opponent. Offbeat Ninja, knowing what is on the line, keeps up his attacks against this Birmingham Salvo player. They're trying to keep the Birmingham from being the first European team in the Grand Finals. Round three to Offbeat. Getting worse. He's getting worse. Let's go. Focus, come on. Salvo just needs one round to go to the World Finals. I know, I, and Fatality at the end of the day, Offbeat Ninja may have three, but Messi still only needs that one to make it impossible for the Carolina Corps to win. This round starts off, both players moving back just a tad. Messi getting some nice hits, but Offbeat Ninja comes in with a nicely timed counter. Messi gets his own nicely timed counter, and here comes a taxi down the street, not gonna come into play. We see a Messi get a throw, then Offbeat Ninja with the grab. Another car down the street, not coming into play. Messi with just a little less help than Offbeat Ninja, but he'll equalize things, blocks both those attacks from Offbeat Ninja, goes in for the grab, and we are nearly even. This round could go to either player, and this is a crucial moment in this matchup. High kick comes out from Offbeat Ninja. More combos thrown. Messi gets a hit. Nice counter from Offbeat Ninja. And a throw! Whoa! Oh, oh, Offbeat Ninja! All the pressure is on him! On you! On him! Let's go! Come on! 
Fatality, you are witnessing what could be not only the best individual performance in the game here, but possibly the best individual performance that could win it for their team and put them up against the San Francisco Optics in the CGS World Final. Once again, Offbeat Ninja with most of the damage. He gets a launcher into a nice combo. A low leg sweep, and he does it! 5-0, we're tied! This is it. One last round decides who will go to the world finals. Let's look at the big scoreboard. There it is, 20 to 20. One round to go to the world finals. And unfortunately for both teams, this is a situation that they have both been in, unfortunately, on the losing side. So one of these teams is finally going to un overcome that one point differential and meet the San Francisco Optics in the World Finals. This is your moment, Ryan. Take it. Take your moment. <laughs> it's about how I feel right this now. This has been surreal the whole time, baby. This is what it's all about. Look at the score, Mike. What's the score? This is history. If Messi wins this, the first European team to ever make it to the CGS World Final. If Offbeat Ninja wins it, the core will face another North American team, the San Francisco Optics. And it all comes down to this opening damage to Offbeat. But Messi with a nice attack, and he gets the throw into the wall. He gets a launcher. He's got Offbeat down to 30%, mid kick, but Offbeat with the launcher. He'll get a nice four hit combo. He comes in. Oh my God! Incredible. I'm I'm speechless, fatality. Five rounds off the ninja got. A great job by Offbeat Ninja. He 5 0 his opponent. But Messi getting the one round that he really needed. But Offbeat Ninja, he put forth an unbelievable effort. He beat Messi 5 0. That's what they needed. Same that one round. That delay for overtime really probably got to him. You know, all that amped up energy from your GM and from yourself, just pushing yourself to the next level and wasn't able to bring it back together and close them out. And Messi took total advantage of it, did an awesome job by winning that last round. Huge job by Salva, they're going to the World Finals against San Francisco Optics. Great job by both players. Here's Andrew with both Offbeat Ninja and Messi. Okay, DJ, we, we have to speak to both of them because frankly, none of us have ever seen anything like this. The energy, the excitement, the wows on the floor that we just had, really remarkable. I'm going to start with Offbeat. Ryan, you needed a prayer. You got that prayer. You got five in a row to get to that overtime. You stood up. You took a deep breath. Take me from there. Uh, I think I made the mistake by standing up. I should have just sat down, stayed in Why was it a mistake? Uh, I should have just stayed in the game. I think that may have affected me. I don't, I don't know. What happened in that last round? You were so aggressive, he became a little bit more aggressive and seemingly caught you off guard there right at the, stop yeah. of, right at the start of the round. Yeah, and then I got, I got a couple unexpected stuns. I did an accidental jump, and it just, unfortunately, the final round just did not go my way. Ryan, it was an amazing performance. You've given us so many wows all through this. Congratulations to you and your team for a great performance. We come over here to Messi. All you needed was one. You certainly knew how to make it dramatic, didn't you? Um, yeah, I did that on purpose. Well, no, just joking. No, you didn't. <laughs> what happened there in the final round, and how were you able to go from somewhat passive, where he was really getting you, to getting out early and getting that lead in that final round? Well, uh, first I thought Offbeat Ninja will not be that aggressive. And then uh, I just remember in the last round when it does matter, I just remembered how I used to play and uh, I just pulled it off. Okay. Well, it's amazing. I don't think you forgot how to play, but it certainly worked in the end. Let's bring in Odie here, your GM. Odie, it came down to this. What were you thinking when he lost the first five? Uh, probably a word my daughters don't want to learn yet. but. Um... 
whoa, that's just amazing. But in gaming, you can't give up. You can never give up until the end. So that's just perfect. Your team immediately, after this guy won here, after Messi won, ran over to the stands here to shake San Francisco's hand and to say good luck. What are we expecting next Monday? I think it's going to be a really good final. We're good friends with San Francisco, but come game day, we'll be enemies and we'll be wanting to win that title. Let it out, man. How sweet is this? Oh, it's just fantastic. It's amazing. So, wow. How much pride is there as the first European team to make the final? Unlike last year where we had Carolina and Chicago, a couple of American teams. Uh, there's a lot of pride in that. That's something I really wanted to do, be the first international team, and I'll go down in history. So that's awesome. And uh, now we're in the first, Europe, uh, first foreign team in the final. So that's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, first European team, first international team. These guys are moving on the finals to take on the San Francisco Optics. DJ Wheat, it was about as good as it gets. You're absolutely.